Hello guys. So in this section, we will understand what is YOLO and Tesseract and why they are used. So let's just start with YOLO. So what is YOLO? So YOLO is you only look once, which is basically a real time object detection system. So first of all, what is object detection system? Okay. So in image classification, we classify the full image and not particular part of it. Like if there is a cat in the image, the image classification algorithm will give the cat in a result for that particular image. But it doesn't tell you anything about the location of the cat in the image. So let's just say if a single image contains cat and dog both, then it will be hard to classify them, right? Uh, you can see the same thing in this picture. So there is a bicycle, truck and dog as well. So it will be hard to classify it as a uh, three thing. Like it contains three things. So, it, yeah, so whether a image classification algorithm should consider it as bicycle or truck or dog. If it wants to classify all the three things together in the image, then we need localization and the localization can only be done with the help of boxes bounding box which basically will detect the object and then it will classify them hence object detection algorithm is used to find the location of the object in the image first and then it classifies them so basically it will make a bounding box around the detected object to localize and then it will classify the object. So there, there are many object detection algorithm available. But we will be using YOLO V4 which is one of the fastest and also most accurate object detection framework available. So it takes an entire image in a single instance and predict the bounding box coordinate and then class probability for these boxes. This is the reason why it is called as you only look once because unlike other object detection algorithm, it only looks one time or it only looks it looks entire image in a single instance. Hence, here we will be using YOLO V4 pre-trained model to train it further on our three classes of invoice so that it can detect and classify the same. Here you can see the YOLO V4 have predicted three classes in a single image. First of all, it basically identified the location of the dog and then it predicted the class and then it predicted that this is basically a dog. This is basically a dog. Similarly, it identified the location of a particular object and then it classified it as bicycle. Though it is getting hidden yeah, though the, some of the portion of bicycle is getting hidden because of the dog, it was able to predict that this is a bicycle. Similarly, with similar similarly, it is the same case with the truck as well. Okay, so this is basically about object detection framework and why we will be using YOLO V4. Okay, fine. So we will be using YOLO V4 to predict invoice number, invoice date, and also grand total. So it will identify the location of a particular object and then it will classify it as invoice number. and then invoice date and then it will classify this as amount 
or total now the work of yolo fee yolo v4 is done now basically we need to predict the predict the text from this detected bounding box correct so to predict the text we will be using tesseract so now what is tesseract so tesseract is an optical character recognition tool for python and it will help us to recognize and read the text embedded in the image hence we will be using tesseract to extract text from the three predicted classes of invoice so in general you will find tesseract will work on will work on most of the font but let's just say if it doesn't work on or if it doesn't give correct text prediction of a particular uh, character or a word then what in that scenario we will be fine tuning it on that particular character which is predicted incorrectly so now what is fine tuning so fine tuning is tweaking the pre-trained model so that it can give correct result on the incorrect predicted character as well for an example if the model is already trained on the car we can do fine tuning on pre-trained model so that it can predict truck as well because car and trucks almost has same features right and hence tweaking the pre-trained model will definitely help okay guys thank you so much see you in the next video Thank you.